I'm Omazino and today I'm going to be sharing with you how you can take your body measurement all by yourself at home for the purposes of dressmaking and also shopping online. So what we need for this is a flexible tape measure, a pen and our jotting notes. It is always advisable to put on a fitted garment or underwear when taking your body measurement because bulky clothes to add up to the numbers. For the purpose of taking body measurement, we will divide our body into two parts. We have the circumference, then does a where the tape goes around our body. While for the length, the tape measures from one point to the other point. So now we'll start with our circumference area now. So first, we start with our boss by placing the tape around the fullest part of the boss. This is usually around the nipple area. When you do this, be sure that the tape is straight around your boss like this. You can do this standing in front of a mirror. What I got is spotty. The waist is the slimmest part around this area. It usually falls around 1 to 2 inches above the belly button, though it differs with individual. If yours is not pronounced, you just bend to the side like this. There's this part that goes in the most. For me, this is where the elastic string is tied on like this. So this is my waist area. So I'll place my tape around my waist area. I got a tip problem. Now I'll place my tape around the fullest part of my hip like this. After which I'll take it up and down to be sure that it's not tight. For me, what I got is 46. So my hip is 46. Now I'm done with my second press measurement. So I'll move over now to my length measurement. By first placing the tape across our shoulder like this, from this point to this point, my shoulder is 15. Then I will place the tape like this, on this part of my shoulder. Then I will take note of the figure I get around my nipple area. From this is my nipple area, what I got is 11 and a half. Then I will work the tape right down to my waist area. Then I'll take note of the figure I get around my waist area. For me, what I get is 18, so my waist is 18. And I'll work the tape right down to my, to the fullest part of my hip area. For me, my hip, the fullest part of my hip area is here, like this. Then I'll take note of the figure I get. The figure I get is 27 so my hip is 27 I'll take note of the figure too and I'll work the tape right down to wherever I want the length of my dress to be I work the tape down to anywhere you want the length to be let's say example I want the length to be above my knee what I got here is 39 and I'll stop here if I want it to be after my knee I'll just take note of the figure I get what I got here is 44 then I will stop here. And if I want it to be maybe on this same length here, yeah, I'll just take note of the figure I get. The figure here is 51. So I'll just take note of the 51 and put down 51. Do the same thing anywhere you want it to stop. Now that I'm done with my body's measurements, so I will go over now to take my hand measurements by placing the tape across my hand like this. Then I'll take note of the figure I get with my hand or bring it down because I don't want it too tight so what I get here is 18 so my hand hold is 18 after what I'll place my tape like this this is the point where I started my shoulder measurement from so be sure to take note of where you started your shoulder measurement from and place your tape there when taking your arm length measurement and then I'll work my tape down like this. So wherever I want the length of my sleeve to stop. Let's say I want my sleeve to stop here. The number I have there is 12. So I'll take out of the 12. And on that same point, I'll take the tape right from there. What I get here is 13. Then I'll take my bicep measurement. By placing the tape on the fullest part of my arm, yeah? What I get here is 14. 
If you find this video helpful, I would like you to subscribe for more videos like this. Like and also give the video a thumbs up. Thank you. And also remember to put on the notification bell so that you'll be the best to get notified when next I have a video. Thank you.